Hi and welcome to lesson 7. In this lesson we're going to create an enemy that is going to follow us around and um, we'll do it so that every time the enemy touches us they'll take a life off us. So the first thing I, I did was in my media file I put in a, a graphic of an enemy so and that's enemy.png so I need to load the image in so let's go for load image and let's let's go for seven we go for three we will have the barriers too later on so we have enemy.png so that's our enemy loaded in so the next thing we need to do is put our enemy variables in and I'm just following the same structure as I have all along enemy equals 3 and then we'll have enemy xpos equals let's start him at 150 and enemy y pause position where will we put that we'll put it around 450 we'll move it down to the, towards the bottom of the screen <clears throat> so that's my um the variables of where the coordinates will be for my enemy so the next thing i need to do is create the sprite create sprite and enemy and it's three so there's a, there's our enemy created next thing i need to do is set sprite position so to put him on on the screen but of course if we're going to kill an enemy at any point we'll need to set this again within the actual goal sub as well but we'll come to that at some point Enemy X pause enemy Y pause. Okay, so there's there's the positions all set in. Now we'll need to put in our go sub. Let's call it go sub enemy chaser. So we got We've got all that done. So now we just need to, to go back and put this, start writing this subroutine. So let's go. Enemy chaser. Return. <clears throat> okay. So how are we gonna, how are we gonna do this code? Well. I've got I've got an enemy that's going to appear on the screen. We'll run that, and there he is. So I want my character. I want that enemy to chase our character. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is change change the timer. So I want that I want that enemy to. To, to, to follow me so wherever I go I want him to follow it so that would mean that whatever my y coordinate is or it, rather if the enemy's coordinate isn't on my coordinate then move it towards me so if if you take the enemy's y position I need to say to it the enemy's y position needs to be the good guy's y position and the enemy x position needs to be the good guy's x position and i can just set it so that it that it moves to wherever my coordinate is perhaps one two three how many pixels at the time i want and so that's what i need to start to think about doing and it's a piece of code we've used time and time again so i'm gonna I'm going to copy that in so save time and then explain the code as I've been doing all along so if I go to the bottom enter this in 
and basically what I'm saying is if the enemy X position is less than the good guy's X position then enemy X position equals enemy X position plus one so in other words move them to move them towards it if the enemy's X position is more than the good guy's X position then move them towards it at one at one pixel as well this will move very slowly and it's exactly the same enemy y good guy y and that's pretty much it what, what i'm what i'm saying is is that if if the enemy's position isn't the good guy's position move him towards it at one at a time and i'll set the sprite position because i need to refresh it all the time so you need to keep reloading it and now it should work and as you can see he's moving towards me so i move down and down and again you could add levels to a game so you know if the score is 10 then he'll move he'll start to move faster when the score is 20 he'll move even faster and now you've got now you've got this guy trying to stop me from collecting coins and if you remember when we get to five the game ends if he get if he catches me you see he stops moving so everything's coming to a halt and as soon as he reaches me he'll stop so i'll just end the game by collecting the fifth coin and that's basically all there is to have an enemy chase you around the screen in in the, i'll keep this tutorial short in the next one we'll go ahead and we'll add some lives in and, and and take the game another step forward thank you very much for watching